السلام عليكم معكم مصطفى الحسن بتكلم لكم عن ARDS أو الأكيوت Respiratory Distance Syndrome ARDS is one of the tough topics in critical care and respiratory care It's one of the challenging diseases in terms of management of mechanical ventilation and it's severe and acute inflammatory lung disease So understanding the disease and its prognosis is helpful for us as RTs to better manage it and this is what we are going to talk about it in this lecture. Other names used in the past for ARDS like adult hyaline membrane disease, adult respiratory distress syndrome, oxygen toxicity, white lung syndrome, wet lung, stiff lung syndrome, shock lung syndrome and there are other names. Objectives for this presentation, we will have definition, etiology, pathology, clinical manifestations, physical assessment, PFT laboratory and radiological findings, treatment, and some facts about ARDS. Definition of acute respiratory distress syndrome. It is characterized by hypoxic respiratory failure caused by damage to the alveolar capillary membrane, which increases pulmonary physical permeability and leads to pulmonary edema, hemorrhage, consolidation, and atelectasis. Most common disorders associated with ARDS like shock, infection, and trauma. There are a lot of potential causes of ARDS, but all of them share one result, which is serious damage to the alveolar capillary membrane. There are more than 60 conditions cause ARDS. Here we have a list of the most common ones. Some of them are classified as direct injury to the lungs and the others are classified as indirect. Sepsis is the number one most common cause of ARDS and it's one of the indirect causes. Aspiration, pneumonia. Community acquired pneumonia is the number one cause of ARDS outside the hospital. We have CNS diseases, we have drug overdose, long, long bone fracture cause fat embolism and that cause ARDS, severe infections, inhalation of toxins and irritants like smoke inhalation. Other causes like immunological reaction, massive blood transfusion, oxygen toxicity. So exposing to high of IO to more than 60% can cause ARDS, hypovolemic shock, burns. Here in this picture, we have water represent pulmonary blood flow, the dam, I'm sorry, the dam represent AC membrane, and the small town represent alveolar space. So this is the normal case, the normal condition, uh, this uh, picture represent um, hydrostatic pulmonary edema and the last uh, picture uh, represent um, non-hydrostatic pulmonary edema and we see here the dam is broken like the AC membrane is broken. The second picture represent cardiogenic pulmonary edema and how fluid moves to the alveolar space. The third picture represent the non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema, which um, we can see here how um, inflammatory cells move uh, across the AC membrane to the alveolar space and to the interstitial. The pathologic abnormalities of ARDS are described as exudative phase and fibroproliferative phase. Acute exudative phase begins within 24 hours of the onset of the primary cause of ARDS and it continues one um, to seven days. It's characterized by diffuse damage to alveoli and blood vessels and that result in fluid and inflammatory cells move into alveolar spaces and interstitium. So there will be surfactant deficiency and microatelectasis and alveolar collapse as well. Fibroproliferative phase may begin in the third day and continue for weeks. Um, 
there will be some fibroblast proliferation اللي هي انتشار الخلايا الليفية um, that causes interstitial and alveolar fibrosis uh, uh, the oxygen diffusion through AC membrane will be weak Clinical manifestations from pathologic changes like alveolar consolidation, atelectasis, AC membrane thickness increased um, that causes um, slow oxygen diffusion and uh, severe hypoxemia, PF ratio will be less than 200. Um, if the lungs are congested, um, the, airway the airway resistance will be high. During physical examination, vital signs are high. The patient will be tachypneic, tachycardic, hypertensive. Um, during inspection, you will see your patient cyanotic. During percussion, uh, there will be dull percussion note. Uh, when you listen to your patient's breath sounds, there um, it's a bronchial and there will be uh, crackles. Lung volume and capacity findings are within the range of obstructive lung diseases. ABG findings in mild to moderate uh, cases, um, PCO2 decreased since the patient is tachypneic, uh, PO2 also decreased, pH increased. In severe cases, uh, P PCO2 increased, P pH decreased, and PO2 uh, will be severely decreased. Radiologic findings for ARDS uh, increased opacities and the specific terms for cystic slay of um, ARDS is ground glass aberrance. It's going to be something like this. There are two popular diagnostic criteria for ARDS. American European Consensus Conference in 1994 and Berlin Definition in 2012. Um, American European Consensus Conference Definition um, reduced lung compliance, hypoxemia, PF ratio has to be um, less than uh, 200 or less. If it's more, if it's between, if it's between 200 and 300, that's LE, acute lung injury. Uh, bilateral infiltration on chest X-ray, uh, an acute illness associated with the development of ARDS and there is no evidence of congestive heart failure. Berlin definition has the same criteria but plus they categorized um, ARDS uh, based on PF ratio to mild, moderate, severe. If it's uh, if the PF ratio is a 300 and less, that's mild. If it's 200 and less, that's moderate. If it's 100 and less, that's severe ARDS. And uh, PEEP has to be applied uh, by five or more. General treatments for patients with ARDS, um, antibiotics, to treat bacterial infection, diuretic agents to reduce interstitial edema, corticosteroids to suppress pulmonary inflammation. Respiratory care treatment includes oxygen therapy to treat uh, hypoxemia caused by capillary shunt, um, hyperinflation therapy to treat atelectasis, uh, mechanical ventilation of course is needed. Um, uh, we actually need a separate lecture to talk about mechanical ventilation uh, for ARDS patients. Um, common ARDS uh, mechanical ventilation strategy including low tidal volumes and high respiratory rate. Low tidal volume um, um, uh, between uh, 4 to 6 uh, ml per kg. Um, uh, so, uh, respiratory rate between 20 to 25, we may need uh, to go up to 35 uh, breath per minute. Um, be, uh, also, we need, uh, sometimes we allow for permissive hypercap. The therapeutic goals of low tidal volume ventilation is to decrease barotrauma and over distension of the lungs. Potential hazards caused by high pressures, including um, compression of the pulmonary blood vessels causing decreased pulmonary blood flow, um, decreased uh, venous retain and cardiac output, high ICP uh, which uh, can cause um, hemorrhage, um, pneumothorax, and uh, gastric distension. Some facts on ARDS. Acute respiratory distress syndrome uh, luckily is not a common a disease in terms of the incidence rate, uh, it's only about 6 to 19% among the admission patients. 
This percentage depends on the country and the year of the research, but the mortality rate is considered high. It's about 11 to 87 percent, according to a systemic review done in 2017. Luckily, again, the mortality rate is, has been decreased in the last few years because of the improving of the medicine. ARDS is a highly, highly life-threatening condition that requires immediate care. Lung functions return back to normal after 6 to 12 months, uh, but when the primary condition caused ARDS is quickly addressed, treated, the, the oxidative phase should be short, only a few, few days. Um, it should be fully reversible. Uh, it's not going to leave any significant chronic signs of, or injury to the lungs. I have a true or false question for you. Um, the lung compliance of patients with ARDS is very high, therefore co static compliance should be kept uh, less than 30 millimeter mercury. Uh, take a screenshot and let's see your answers.